Oh, hello everybody. A very, very good evening to you. Sunday evening, nothing gets past me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's eight o'clock. It's time for our pop-up. And I just wanted to see how you are all doing. I am, of course, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And, of course, the world's most humble man. So we don't want anybody thinking there might be any trumpets being blown, you know, that sort of thing. And we wouldn't like that. There's Gordon Robertson saying hello. Welcome, Gordon. Lovely of you to pop up and say hi. Lovely of you to do that. Dinky do, Scotty, says Finley Morris. And uh, Jack's watching. Jack Merlees, welcome. Kane spotted Craig Minty. Finley shouting on them. Gordon Robertson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Finley's shouting on uh, two people, Thomas Peden and Longshanks Leonard, who will no doubt be joining us as the evening progresses. But at least you're here, and that's what matters. Thank you all so much for joining us in our lockdown pop-ups at uh, 10 o'clock sharp in the morning. Wonderful. There we are. Right, everybody seems to be appearing here. Let's just see what's going on. Yes, there we go. There we go. I'm in, says Thomas. Good man. John Marshall's getting shouted on, so you'll have to hurry up. You guys need to get your act together and get here. That's what it's all about, as Finley Morris says. Dinky do, Scotty. Hope you're having a quality evening, says the wonderful Keen Spa. Dinky do, Keen. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Great stuff. Ned McMillan has just joined us. Scotty McClue's pop up. Superb attire tonight, Scotty. It's all to do with a mark of respect for who you're going to see. And I'm going to see you. You see? I'm looking sharp as a tack this evening, Scotty. I thank you, Longshanks. I'll keep up the payments. Looks like you're wearing a kit with a kilt with lapels. I've never seen a kilt with lapels. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, do, says Tom. Tam, Tam Peden's joined us. George Newton is watching. Oh, you've got questions tonight, George. The wonderful Gordon Roddick, one of our top gents, is watching right now. Good evening, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Sunday evening pop-up live on Facebook Live. Uh, I'm going to have to do some sharing, if you'll forgive me, and if you can all do the same as the evening goes on, just to let everybody know what's happening. Very, very important. These Sunday evenings are quite the thing. Jack says, you're looking like a Hollywood celebrity, Scotty. Oh, I forgot. You already are one. Thanks, Jack. Yes, yes, absolutely. Just because I am in touch with the world does not mean I have to give up my celebrity status. Scotty, I think you should introduce a welcoming song at the start of the pop-ups. Finley Morris, I would do all that. I would play you my choice in music. But of course, we would have copyright problems. And we don't want that, do we? So there we are. Look, you're very smart, Scotty. Says, siente, siente, whoopstar, siente whoopstar. Ian Kerr has joined us. Good evening, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do, Scotty, says Darren. James Lamb. Wonderful. Pat Simpson, thank you, do. I've been in touch with commercial television about half an hour on a Friday night. I'm waiting for them to come back to me. Hi, Scotty. It's Stuart here, Scotty. I'm getting sick of this lockdown. Stuart, you must never be sick of the lockdown. Start to really appreciate yourself. You are a top man. So there you are. And of course, we've got a special hour in the morning to alleviate any anxieties of the lockdown. And you can come on and chit chat 10 o'clock till 11, weekday morning, Scotty McClue's pop-up right here on Facebook Live. So there we are. You can't get the massive, massive numbers um, on Facebook Live, but having said that, we can all get together and do a bit of sharing. So there you are. If you do the sharing, we can maybe get the numbers up a bit. So guys, if you want to share, I'm going to share right now, if that's okay, before we get into this, just so that everybody knows we are about and uh, it is happening because people forget. They, oh, I met it. Oh, Scotty was on. He's away. Oh, what's the time? It's nine o'clock. Oh, missed it. Missed it again. Forgot all about that. Was worrying. Was having a wee bit of party partying. Was worrying all about uh, missing him. And then I missed him. You know, that kind of chat. So there we are. Derek Walker's watching. Did you do Derek? I've just done a share there now. I don't know what that shared to. 
I have not got a clue what that shared to. I'm going to y'all start start watch parties as well. Apparently that works according to Tam Pidden. So there, I'm just going to share to a page, guys. I'll share to the big Scotty McClure page. Uh, right, who have we got here? Andrew Wishmaster Williams, Derek Walker, Brian Hall, Finley Morris, and um, the. You're late. Lucky there's no sanctions during lockdown. No, McLeod does not punish any viewers during lockdown. No sanctions, no naughty step, no dances, cat, no facing the wall, all that sort of stuff. So there we are. And no whipping the wizard. We don't allow that. So there we are. Do you remember when we used to whip the wizard? If you got a name wrong, that sort of stuff. Uh, Tam says you don't get any of that copyright patter on here. So there are no, no, we don't want any of that. And uh, Nick Ratcliffe's watching Callum McSwan. Everything here is originally oranged. There we are, originally origined. There we are, John Paul Garvey. So there we are. Hey, Scotty Dinky do. Just realize my brother is uh, in a Saturday. The only day you don't do a pop up. My brother is in on Saturday, the only day you don't do a pop-up. Sorry about that, Jack. So there you are, absolutely. Um, Brian Hall, good evening, dinky do, good man. Please could you say hello to my six-year-old son, Daniel. Daniel Hall, hello, and dinky do from Scotty McClure. Welcome to the pop-up. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Raymond Benson, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Raymond. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just sharing to the big page, guys. Can you all do the same? Oh, it's so important. Important. There we are. Right, I don't want to do anything furtive. Furtive. Remember the start of the vital spark? Dan, uh, Dan, uh, the, the, what was Dan McPhail? The engineer was suspecting something was afoot and going, Fartif, Fartif, that's what he is. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? They were great, they were great stuff. Um, so I'll just put, we have started. We have started. So we will finish. Right, we have started. I'm just going to post that now, guys. That's going off to the big Scotty McClure page. I want to see these figures going up. Uh, you're looking very jazzy, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty, says Raymond Benson. Evening, Ray. Uh, looking very jazzy, Scotty, says Darren James Lamb. I thank you, Darren James, DJ. Uh, you're glowing this evening. Have you been out in the sun today? And a walk along the Fourth and Clyde Canal today. Mary Hill Locks to the Kelvin Dock. Wonderful, Gordon Robertson. How far can you walk into town? Can you walk into Port Dundas that way? Do tell, spill, spill, I say. Lovely to hear from you. Longshanks, I missed shots this morning, Scotty. Can we get something religious smashed out in the organ tonight? Oh, I'm sure we'll manage a wee crowd pleaser just for you. So there we are. No problem at all. Wonderful. Mike Williams is watching. Did you do? Paul Lorimer, I'll have to take away that comment because you put a sweary word in. And uh, we don't allow swearing on here. Dermot Scotty McVicker from Canada is watching. Good evening, sir. I salute you. Lovely to have you with us. What a top man you are. And uh, I send great, great greetings to you and your lovely wife, Leslie, and to your lovely dog. So there we are. What a top man. Um, the wonderful Faye Lamont's watching through in Dundee. Dinky do, Faye. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. Mwah! Fantastic lady. And uh, John Jones is watching. Dinky do, John. Welcome, 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 I say. Finley Morris says, get Michael Farker on. Quite right to sharing, sharing more sharing, guys. The pressure's on. Oh, the pressure's on, McClue. If we can't get the numbers up, we can't do the show, and we don't want that again. Barry Corkendale, dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless, says Paul Lorimer. Absolutely, God bless. And there we are. Jack Arthur's watching, dinky do. Ross Donnelly and Kane Spur. Can we get a shout out for the legendary Zach Fee, Alec Leah, Ryan, and Cavan, Scotty? Dinky do. We can indeed. So there we are. Fantastic. Now there we are. Susan Fall is watching in Lancashire. Dinky do, Susan. Shelley McRobbie's watching. One of our top broadcasters.
Pleasure to have you on, Shelley. Glad you could join us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinky do, I say. I hope things are going well for you. Shelley McRobbie once interviewed me, Scotty McClue. Then I got a shout out for the munchy box I just ordered. This is long shout, yes. Shout out for the munchy box. We better come out and meet a few chips. Stephen Menzies is watching. Dinky do, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. Meant to say happy birthday, stupid word correct. I know what you mean, Jack. Absolutely. Scotty, can you tell us all you know about the great train robbery? Finlay Morris, not a great deal apart from what you see on the, um, on the films and the movies. I know very little about it, but I do remember it happening. So there you go. Andy Simpson's watching. How are you doing, Scotty? Says Derek Walker. Great, Derek. Lovely to have you with us. And did you do? Even as Scotty, I need to pause my documentary I've been watching, The Whale Hunters in the Faroe Islands. There's always two sides to a story. There is indeed John Jones, but with all due respect to The Whale Hunters in the Faroe Islands, at this very moment in time, I would strongly recommend you take a bit of time out and watch Scotty McClue live, popping up on Facebook just for you, dinky-doo. So there we go. Carl, Carla Stanley, C. Good evening. Buongiorno. There we are. Can we get uh, rid of, uh, can we get a word of condolence? So there we are. So um, Finley Morris, you know we can't say that on here. So there we go. Gordon Robertson, you seem more lively than usual tonight, Scotty. Have you been on there? And he mentions a high-powered um, health drink, an energy drink. No, 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 I don't, Gordon Robertson. I, I don't know why I, I seem more lively. So there we are. Maybe it's all of you. I've maybe got so many people to get through. It's livelying me up. What are we doing here? Sharing a group. Tell them that we've started and to hurry up. Uh, Carl Carlos Donnelly says, I hope you're staying safe during this virus. You as well, Carl. I hope all is well with you. Take great care of your dear self. Very important. Susan Forrest says, Dinky Doo, good Dinky Doo, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo to all of you. William Wallace is watching. Is that jacket from Slater Scotty? Oh, Thomas, I wouldn't be doing any advertising on here, so I shan't say, but everybody's admiring it, so I will keep up the payments. It's my old rowing jacket. And when I put rowing down on my CV, somebody thought it was rowing. So there you go. Uh, the wonderful Jamie McDougall is watching, one of our finest tenor singers. So there we are, an absolute top man, lovely guy, and uh, the most fabulous voice. When Jamie gives it to uh, Laldi, it is uh, quite something to behold. A very, very sweet voice. And as Jamie knows, I uh, know my tenor singers. So there we are, Sidney McEwen. Wonderful. John McCormick, Kenneth McKellar. All these fantastic people. Uh, and I've donated 20, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. You are a very, very kind man, Carl Carlos Donnelly. It all helps because the last pennies I got in, I did a bit of advertising. I know people are saying, oh, I'm not going to donate if you're giving it away to providers. But no, no, it helps to buy equipment. I'm saving up for a new camera for the shows because I've got some big ideas, full of big talk, McClue. But uh, if anybody's got a few quid, and you can stick it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, that would be wonderful. Or to GoFundMe, it's all on the Scotty McClue website, and you'll get an explanation, because I can't um, bear people that say, I, I, I was going to give you a pound, but... What, what's it all going to? What are you doing with it? the rest of it? You know, that sort of idea. So it's all explained on GoFundMe.com, Scotty McClue. Uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. And um, only give if you feel you can. We've got some lovely, lovely people that are very, very generous and it's so much appreciated because if you think about it, Scotty McClue accepts applause or derision on his merits always has had to, and that's how it works. There we go, dinky do, Scotty McClure. So thank you very much. Um, I've do donated 20 pounds to your GoFundMe, Scotty. You're welcome. Carl Carlos Donnelly, that is so, so kind of you, and so very generous. Thank you 
Really is appreciated. And that will go to good use because I can do with a wee bit of money what big television companies can't do with millions of pounds. So there you go. And uh, Thomas Speedon is shouting on everybody here. Any good film recommendations for this fine evening? <clears throat> Longshanks, I watched an absolute belter recently. Um, so there you go. Always watch. I've got some great, great movies. Uh, Try Remains of the Day. Uh, it's a slightly older movie now. Anthony Hopkins, Emma Thompson. There we are. Well, well, well worth a look. Set in a big hoose in the 1960s, and it goes back to the 30s to the time when they were looking at appeasement, and the British government was looking at it as well, talking to Germany. Um, so there we go. Tam's getting everybody up here. I'll not run through all that. Um, so there we are. It's Kerry shouting on everybody here. Good for you, Tam. That is fantastic. You get them all up. Michael Farker. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty McClure. My son Calvin is seven months old. This is his favourite part of the day. I'm sure his first words will be Dinky do. <laughs> Everybody's first words were Dinky do, were they not? Hmm. I, I remember um, I was sitting talking to a friend's baby who didn't have a word. And I was going, who's that? That's daddy, 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 isn't it? And pointed to my pal. Suddenly the wind goes, da, 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 da. And his father says, did he just say dada? I said, yes, he did. <laughs> there we are. Excellent. Well, I do teach speech, you know. I mean, it's something I do. Uh, Alex Martin, Dinky New, Stephen Mooney, Findlay Morris. Sorry for my misdemeanor in mentioning a full name. One match ban for you. No, Finley, no problem at all. What we used to do was give people the red card. Now, we didn't have any red cards, so we just used yellow ones instead, but we wrote red card on it. So I'll maybe see if I've got some uh, some cards for you. We could do the red card. Would that do the red card? Eh? <laughs> well, look at that one. It's wonderful. Derek's asking when you think football will be back on the go. Trot and Pickin, we must be septic. We are just discussing football and red cards, and up comes a football question. I don't know, but I'll put it out to the universe. Universe, can you answer this question for this wonderful man? Can you tell us when you think football will be back? All right, excellent stuff. Robert Rovers is watching. Rovers, do you get it? Another football connection? My goodness me. You're welcome, Scotty. I always love to help you when needed. Carl Carlos Donnelly, just by existing, you help people because that's the kind of person you are, a wonderful human being. Well, that's what it's all about. Uh, there we are. Time's getting everybody up here. Oh, he's getting the whole lot up. Uh, hi, Scotty. Sorry I'm late, says the wonderful Kareem Zakaria. Not at all, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. And I was thinking about you yesterday, and you know why. So there you go. So I send strength to you. Wonderful. Andy McMaster's joined us. Good evening, Scotty. Loving the threads. Dink you do. Robert Rovers, you are a top man. Wonderful. Let me all know where you're from. It's been a while. I can't listen in the mornings. Peter Lockwood, don't worry. That's why we do the Sunday nights now. Because we used to do the Sunday nights. We started at 10 and went on till 11. And they were very, very popular. And we had thousands and thousands and thousands. And I said to people, how come I'm only getting a few hundred now? And they went, nothing to do with you, Scotty. It just depends. It's all robotic on the platform. And it just depends who gets to see it. So I would like the platform to show this program to everyone in their platform, right out to, what is it, 2.8 billion, and see how many come and join us. That's what I would like to see. So there you are. Uh, where will your first holiday destination be when lockdown is lifted? Long shanks, I was thinking maybe taking a wee week in, uh, in Guruk or something like that, you know, just to celebrate and maybe um, 
seeing if I could get the boat, drive down to Weems Bay and get the boat to Rothsey or something like that, you know, it's a real big splash out. Uh, George Newton, good evening, Scotty, I'm just sat in the garden with a beer. Oh, just sat in the garden, blah. I was just having one beer, George. Oh, I have had one before. There we are. Good evening, Scotty, sat in the garden with a beer. Now, tonight's question, no right or wrong answer. What's your favourite, Cullen Skink or Haggis with Neeps and Tatties? George, you like to torture people, don't you? Um, you know, this is, uh, who? you see, a nice, hot, creamy Cullen Skink is a very, with, with fresh, crisp, home-baked bread. Uh -huh. Or a nice plate of haggis with neeps and tatties. Right, here's what I'm doing. All right, George, stick with me. See if you can follow the McClure logic. You tend to only have haggis and neeps and tatties around the same time of the year, around Buns Night. And in the winter, good winter fare, you know, and uh, mashed, mashed tatties, mashed turnips, and a big dollop of haggis. I tend not to have haggis the rest of the year, but you could get a cullen skink, a bowl of cullen skink at any time of the year, particularly if you're visiting a, a seafood restaurant. Check the prices though, guys, because the be through the roof for seafood. So I'm going to go for a nice creamy bowl of cullen skink with warm, fresh home-baked bread. Right. And then I'm going to carry on on the fish and have the, the fried fish and chips, the lemon. <laughs> so there we are. We might even go for the haddock because the cullen skink's haddock, isn't it? So we might go for the fried haddock after that. Dean Johnson's watching. No sanctions for being late, Kareem, says the wonderful Finley Maurice. Here's Gene Smith. Hope you are well, Scotty, and two kisses. We are Gene Smith. Thank you for joining us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We're due a wee tune in the organ soon. I'm from lovely Lanark, Scotty, the pride of South Lanarkshire. Well, as you know, I used to uh, go on the radio to Lanarkshire out there. Fantastic. And I love Lanark, I have to say. Tell me more about the pond, the wee lake in Lanark. I want to know more about that. Uh, Scotty McLean, thank you for those kind words. Not at all, Kareem. You're very much in our thoughts and as uh, are the family of uh, your friend as well. Very much so. Neil Mills Jr., Dinky Dear. Um, I'm in Airdrie in North Lanarkshire says Neil Mills Jr., I've heard of it. Jump off at the cross. That was uh, when I just had an epiphany on a bus through Airdrie one day, and an old lady got on and she said to the driver, how much to the cross, son? And I thought, wow, what is the price of going to the cross? Are you with me? Aha. Uh -huh. John Jones, can you tell me why when I get noticed every time when you go live, about 3.4 minutes already talking on the show happens in morning shows as well. 3.4 minutes quality time missed. Can you tell me why when I get a notice that you're live? Well, maybe you don't notice the notice. It's maybe been up for three or four minutes and uh, I'm already talking. Or maybe I've been a wee bit sharp, but Gordon Robertson tells me I'm quite off not to a minute late. Oh, no sanctions. So there we are. We'll have a look at it, John Jones. Does anybody else get a notification after the show's actually started? Okay, do tell us. Sharing, sharing, guys, come on. What is happening? What is happening? Right, there we go. I'm going to share to the Scotty McClue group. Is that okay with you? 
She had the Scotty McClure Fan Group for Fans. That's what we call it. It's the Scotty McClure Fan Group for Fans. I'll just put, we are live now. <laughs> we are live now. So that's going into the Scotty McClure Group for fans. And if you can all share, guys, Shamsur Raymond Kadak has joined us. Airdrie, says Robert Rovers. Absolutely. David Lafferty, the wonderful David Lafferty, is watching out in Lanarkshire there. Cain Spart, he likes a creamy cullen skink, says Finlay Maurice. I think so. Yes. Very important. I think we all do, Finlay. Gary Blair's watching. Thank you, do. Gary Blair, top man. So there we are. Um, Gary, while I'm on it, I was thinking about the speeds. Uh, so tell me about the speeds for uh, for Fletch from Flotta. Very interesting. So there we are. But wonderful playing, by the way. Uh, Richard McCasker's watching. Ian Johnson. Hi, glad you're well, Scotty. Very well, Ian, and better for having you here. Guys, if you've got little hearts and thumbs up and things in front of you, laughy, smiley faces... Um, what do you call them? Emojis. Give us a few of them right now. That would be great. Uh, I'm from Plains in North Lanarkshire. What a village. I know Plains, Tam. I know it very, very well. Out there, fantastic, the Lanarkshire people. Evening, Mr. McClure. Peter Connolly. Oh, there we go. And more, please. Tap, 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 tap. Fantastic. So that works. I've not got them here. Uh, it's shut, Scotty. There's nothing much to tell. So there you go, it's Finlay. Right, Finlay. Uh, Rab Hill's watching. Lanark is beautiful. I used to play with Uddingston Strathclyde Pipe Band at the Lanamer Day. Now, Gordon Stilling, correct me if I am wrong. And you know it's very rare that that happens. Um... Is it not absolutely mobbed and heaving? And do we not have the mast pipes and drums? Who's doing sticky out tongues, thumbs up, hearts? Wonderful. Do we not have the um, the mast pipes and drums? Uh, giving it the battle zore and the round tree and all that fantastic. Pipe, pipe majors do a swing, don't they? They, they swing. Sure. Battles all twice. Campbell to Glendaroo Highlanders. Mass bands by the centre. Quick march. <laughs> Fantastic. We love it. All Scots love it. I'll tell you, I do love this. It's fantastic. We had a band. I was invited to a massive, massive Buns supper uh, doing at the Brigton Buns Club, and we had the band in the foyer of the hotel. Oh, I was in Clover. So there you go. That's why I get annoyed when you get Uncle Albert up for a Scottish wedding. Yeah, you know, Uncle Albert, like, he's come up from Yorkshire. And uh, the pipes start, and he can do one of two things. He either goes, oh, <laughs> oh, I can't stand it, right? And everybody stares at him. Uh, the other is that he bursts into tears. He says, you're right, Albert. Oh, them Scottish bagpipes get me going. Yeah? All that. There's Henry, um, Uncle Albert who comes up from Yorkshire. So there we are. All right, Scotty, I hope you're well. So there's a wonderful Rab Hill. We are Rab. Great to have you with us. The lake in Lanark, oh, Scotty. There's only one lake in Scotland. Tut, 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 tut. Well, no. It, it, all right, so it's the loch or the lochen. I'll go for the loch uh, because the only lake in Scotland is, of course, the Lake of Men Teeth. Aha! You thought you had old McClure there. I'm not just an athlete, you know. I am also a black belt in karaoke. Yes, wonderful. And I did uh, gymnastics for my anger management. And on the first night, I flipped. Thank you, Gordon. Truly lovely time. However, Lanimous has cancelled this year. Finney Morris, yes, I believe. Not so good. Love it, Scotty. Your life for the cross. Yes. How much to the cross? 
What is the cost of going to the cross? We know the cost for Jesus. Well, we think we do. We can go on the stations of the cross. But what about the cost for Judas? How must he have felt selling out his Lord and Master for 30 pieces of silver? Betty flung them away and couldn't live with himself for the rest of his puff. So there we are. Uh, me just now, me just now. Love it, Scotty. Fantastic. Always waiting, Scotty. Never miss the hottest show in town. John Jones. I know we laugh. We think, oh, hottest show in town. But to be quite honest with you, it is. I promise you, this is the future. This is the next big thing in media. Now, okay, I might be knocking on, but having said that, you know, I mean, 36 years of broadcasting, yes, come on, let's not kid ourselves, but having said that, I would like a thousand years of life just to see what happens as we build this again. Do you see what I mean? So what happens when you have a very successful career in the media, as I believe I have had, Obviously, with all the ups and downs that come with that, um, and uh, and and losing my my life savings to uh, a fraudster, you know that sort of thing as well. But you have the ups and the downs. But I know that if we climb to the top of the next hill, we'll see two things: a blooming big valley and the next mountain to climb. And I posted. I don't know, on Saturday. I posted that all the learning curves I've had in my life have completed a massive circle, and it's time to start another circle. So like the Olympic badge, I want us to link all these circles together because every day is a school day. We're learning, learning, learning all the time. And if you're a lifelong learner, I mean, I look at stuff and I think I haven't even scratched the surface yet. So the big one is definitely coming for Scotty McClure, and I suspect it's commercial television, right? We know that the public service broadcaster gets nervous of anything different. So I suspect commercial television will be the next big step, and we'll do a program just like this with lots of shout-outs and what have you, and people can email and text and perhaps even the phones. And off we jolly well go. My notification is always late, says Susan Forrest. Aha! Now what could be causing this? Who is an absolute master of social media or mistress master of social media and could tell us why notifications are late for Scotty McClure? Tot, 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 tot. That's what I say. Andy McNally is watching What a Top Man. Thank you, dear Andy. Lovely to have you with us, John Cameron. All right, Mr. Scotty, says the wonderful John Cameron and two hearts. Two hearts to you, John. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. So there we are. I'm wondering, we need to do a big religious number. Uh, thanks, Scotty. It can be played as a 4 4 or a 2 4. Absolutely. Do you tell me what that one is? I'll give you part two of it, Gary, if you can tell me what that is. Two full pipe march. So there we are. My feet keeps cutting out, says uh, Derek Walker. Sounds like a line from a psalm, doesn't it? I wonder if we could update some of the psalms um, so that you have that, you know? I mean, I wonder if people will, after lockdown, start drinking in the ferret and laptop. That water is lush. So there we are. Anybody else's feet cutting out? Um, there we are. Get a bit of Says Tam. Tam says to Dan. June Bowman, hi Scotty, following you in air. How fantastic. All dear, a tune. Uh, 
Where nerve surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses, am I right? And the two brigs of air, the old and the new. Tam says, Andy McMillan is watching. Welcome, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Andrew Boyle. Thank you, do, Andrew. Great that you could join us. More sharing, guys. I don't know who to share. We must share. Share, share, share. Right, I'm going to share into one of the big groups. Let everybody know what's happening. Uh, so there we go. John Cameron. You know, roasting with the jacket on, Scotty. Well, it is warm, but it's my rowing jacket. Or as people call it, my rowing jacket. So um, we'll be fine. It's, it's quite light. It's very nice. <laughs> Wonderful. It's got, if you look at the colours, you'll see there is a, a marine element to it, shall we say. Scotty, I got a message to tell me a rhyme about old Bessie going to Loch Ness to see Nessie. It was hilarious. I'm working on some new stuff. Mau. So there we are. Wonderful. Peter Conley. Fantastic. Mark Hampshire's watching. Mike McCabe is watching. So there you are. Nigel Turner's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. David McCafferty. Uh, Gordon Sterling. We used to meet at Lanark Police Station. I'll bet. About 7 a.m. Oh, the pipers and drummers would have breakfast consisting of a cold pie and a can of lager. Sounds about right. <laughs> I was about 14. My mother would have killed me if she'd found out. It was a long shift, but very enjoyable. Well, she'd found out that you were there or that you were partaking of a cold pie at 7 o'clock in the morning. Marty Innes, dinky do, dinky do Marty. Have you read all the books on your bookshelf? Do you know, John Cameron, I have. What a dull, boring man. I have, dear boy. But, um, yes, no, I'm not dull and boring at all. I've read them all. The ones behind me are direct reference, and you can... Uh, you know, cross-reference things, but I do have a, a long line of books waiting to be read. So there we are, because my whole life is books. You see, I had to broadcast before there was any internet. So there you are. Look it up. Um, wonderful stuff. Hello, Scotty. I've just been watching David Icke. What's your views on him being banned on social media? Obviously speaking, some truth. No one gets banned simultaneously. Right, do we see? Just finished a live broadcast. Be all over the media. The Mora. Right, Paul Mac. We love it. And David. And he's a lovely, lovely man. And uh, a lovely man to talk to. If I'm honest about it, all of his stuff is extremely interesting. Some of his stuff, I think, for me, is a little far-fetched. But that's just some of it. But uh, very, very interesting. And I don't think that anybody should be banned unless they're effing and jeffing. The only reason I ban people from uh, social media is they're, if they're effing and jeffing. Uh, or they're mentioning names or they're being very, very cheeky to me personally, you know, are offending the rest of the viewers. So I would bounce. So I tend to stick to the old broadcasting code, even on social media. I always have done. I've only had one tiny complaint upheld in uh, 36 years. One tiny complaint in about 50,000 hours of live radio broadcasting. 50,000 hours of it. Incredible when, when you look back. And uh, one complaint, I mean, plenty of complaints, but just one upheld. And even that was for using a word properly as it is in the Oxford English Dictionary. So I, I don't think you can't, you can't argue with a complaint like that, but I don't think that uh, it should have been upheld. I never mind the complaints. Everybody's welcome to complain. And by the same token, 
I think that everybody should uh, should have free speech. But it's up to the platforms to decide at the end of the day because it's their platform. Liz Boy, Dinky Doo, Tremendous Man, uh, The State, Fear, David Icke, and The Truth. Well, Tam, you can't say it's all the truth because we don't know. So there we are. But it's very strange to, to, to ban him. And he did say this to me, actually, you know, um, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, I, I said... Uh, um, you know, one of the questions that you always ask David is, would you ever be worried anything would happen to you? And he said, well, if something did happen to me, he said, um, then that would just underline that I was correct. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So it's really very interesting. So I think it's not... <clears throat> what's important to the real powers that be, the permanent government, is that there's an actual breach of security, right? But the permanent government are not over worried about an embarrassment to the politicians. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So I think that's where your difference is, you know? You would never want to do anything that um, would betray your country, but, uh, you know, uh, governments do things that is not always acceptable to the people or to the permanent government. You know, that's that's the thing. And they have to be, I mean, politicians have to learn that there's a time to toe the line. And I think that's always a shock, a culture shock for them because they're used to saying anything. But I would very much worry if free speech was ever um, just completely clamped down. That would just make us like certain other countries. Um, good evening, Scott Ayers, says the wonderful Deborah Brett. Good evening, Deborah. Uh, John Cameron says, Judas is a grass. Yes, he was a grass for 30 pieces of silver. I wonder how much that was. Robert Rovers, it's about a pound from Coat Dyke to the cross. Is there a big church at Coat Dyke? A great big church. And that big church, if I've got it right, it was Coat Dyke Church. I don't know if it's called that. And the minister was a wonderful man called the Reverend Ronald Falconer. And Ronnie was the head of BBC Religious Broadcasting. And he was a remarkable man when it was a really big thing. And he did all your songs of praise. And I, I, I knew him very well. Great man, Ronnie Faulkner. Uh, so there we are. So Coat Dyke, so do tell if you know that church and if anybody remembers Ronnie Faulkner. And the BBC was also run at that time. The BBC in Scotland was run by um, a war hero, a very heavily decorated war hero. And he was um, the minister of St. Macher's Cathedral in Aberdeen. So there are St. Macher's in Aberdeen. Gordon Roddick's watching right now. Gordon, I think you'll remember broadcasting a service from St. Macher's in Aberdeen on Scottish television, uh, a watch night service at Christmas time. I think I'm right. So there we are. And I'm not sure if that's the one that there was a terrific storm going on at the time. And one of our engineers was a hero and went and got a hold and held on to the satellite dish. Am I correct? Uh, so there we are. So, Coat Dyke Church, um, <clears throat> the wonderful Melville Dinwiddie, and he kind of shaped the BBC in Scotland. These were, these were terrific guys. Um, Gary Campbell, tune in before your live feed starts. That's what to do. Scotty McClure, you're a man of technology since lockdown. I've been getting bad headaches, probably on the screen more with work. Any tips? Yes, Kareem, don't go on the screen too much with work. But I'll tell you what might be causing it. It might not be anything to do with that. It might be the way you're sitting at the desk. Check your posture. Now, I'm not saying 
There's a connection between posture and headaches, but there could well be. I mean, I am not a clinician. I am not a medic. I am not a, a qualified allopathic doctor. But, you know, the body is so clever. And these things can be connected. You think, I'm getting headaches. You think, well, no wonder. Look at the way you're holding your head, trying to see that. You see? You're putting your head up, down to the screen, all that. Now, you used to get a lot of it with the big PCs. And now everybody's got laptops. They're on their phone, all sorts of stuff. People sitting with their legs crossed. All kinds of things. Any Alexander teacher. There's a technique called the Alexander technique to get everything in your body in line so that you've got the energy. And um, so there we are. Judas had a fish supper with the money, says Derek Walker. Well, we don't know. 30 pieces of silver. Thomas Peterson, uh, I'll take a shot of his jacket if it's going. Absolutely. I think I'll keep up the payments on this. I might auction this jacket if things get any tougher. I'm always learning from you, Scotty, such as how to pull off a flat cap. Oh, yes, always from the front that way. I shan't do it, but nice try. Uh, Nicky Graham, Dinky too. Uh, he's a charitable man as McClure. I am, Tam, yes. I give and give. <clears throat> and why not? And who knows? I have received as well. People have popped it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. Wonderful. I hope Longshank's munchy box has arrived. Well, let's hope so, Finley. You better kebab, mate. A few chips. Uh, mixed pakora. Depends where it's coming from. Depends if it's a munchy box, you know, from an Indian restaurant. If it's a munchy box from the chippy, then what would you have? A half pie. Uh, a smoked sausage. Uh, a slice of lemon. A half haddock, half a cod, uh, a potato fritter. <laughs> I don't know. Can you get a munchie box from the chippy? Do let us know. I've been watching them since I was five, and I've seen every social media platform bringing him down. London Real was the only place you could find him. And, oh, Paul Mack, I'll have to ban you. No, I won't ban you. I'll have to... Um, Delete that comment, <laughs> because you had a sweetie word. Alistair King's watching. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo, the wonderful Alistair King, one of the country's top engineers. Great to have you with us, Alistair. How is your latest, um, your latest love, the motorcycle? The deep state and 1% days are numbered, says Tam. Can we have a two-hour pop-up, says Finlay Morris. <laughs> You're very kind, Findlay. Thank you. I think an hour of McClure is plenty for every day. Paul Mack, I hope so. Monarchy included. No, 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 no. Never, ever, ever, ever a word against the monarchy. Or it's a lifetime ban. Yes, we have our symbol of authority, the crown. And the queen is the curator of the crown. So don't be knocking the monarchy. And don't be trying all that, all oh, loaded and all that nonsense. A wonderful, wonderful setup. Otherwise, we have nothing. So there we are. Without the crown, we are nothing. And without God, we are nothing. Yes, as the good book says, without me, ye are nothing. So there we are. We don't want that, do we? Uh, so there we are. McGinn to McGinnis. Think you do. I'm dumb these days. I'm making my teeth itch. Scotty, says uh, John Cameron. So there we go. Uh, Alistair says, I'm making a nice big Victoria sponge tonight at home, made at home, made with butter, cream, and jam. My mother used to make sponges, Alistair, and you couldn't get them in your mood. You couldn't get them in your room. Fantastic. She made these beautiful sponges. And I remember I came in from school one day and I was a big rugby playing laddie. And I plonked my great muscled backside right down on the tumble dryer in the corner. And I said, so mother, how's your day been? And she turned around and she went, oh, well, not too bad, Mrs. <gasps> You've sat in my sponges.
says, what's wrong? You've sat on my sponges. And I looked, and below a couple of dish towels were um, beautiful sponges cooling on a wire rack. And my great muscled backside, and my, at that time, maybe 12 stone, right? This was last week. Maybe 12 stone had completely cubed them. <laughs> They'd gone through the wire rack. So, of course, it was trifle for the rest of the week. Fantastic stuff. And um, <clears throat> Tam's getting them all going here. You're going for the Simon Cowell look with the shot. You're smashing it. Oh, I'm smashing it. I've nailed it. Bzzz, bzzz. It's a yes for me. We'll try and get the ship's telegraph. First time. <coughs> Tom's just doing a list of names. It's too hot for the jacket. No, no, we're absolutely fine, Rab. But I'll maybe have a comfort break. Two seconds. We comfort break. Ah, you can't beat. You can't beat a comfort break. I always say it's fantastic. The wonderful Stephanie Lavelle's watching. Dinky do, Steph. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Chris Shaw Kinoa. Good evening, Mr. McClure. Please say hello to the silly Billy. That is Longshanks Leonard. And especially my fine lady, Adele DeFalco. Yes, there we are. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, John Boyle. John Cameron. The rowing jacket, Scotty. A pair of trunks. That's all you need. What makes you think that's not what I'm wearing? So there we are. Why am I not standing up? I ask you. I want to make homemade pizza, Scotty. Not one shop. I have the flour. Um, and if it ain't bog roll, it's everyone taking up cooking. Remember my old head of security in Yorkshire? And I said, how are you, Jim? Lovely big man. And he said, uh, well... I said, what do you do during the day? Because you're up all night, Jim. When do you get up? And I get up about half eleven. And, uh, right, what do you do? Do you watch? Well, television's no good. You put on one channel. He's cooking. Put on another channel. She's cooking. Another channel. He's cooking. I said, I get the picture, Jim. I see where you're coming from. <clears throat> Can I have a shout out, please, for a good man? So there we are. He's a demon in the kitchen. He's from Plains, and we cry him Plainsley. Fantastic. I'll not go into all that because it's name's time. You know what I mean? Um, so there we go. Uh, hello, Scotty. Can you say hello to my Auntie Betty, who's a knocking her pan in every night, bringing a smile to all the old and young? Hashtag pandemic princess. Hashtag anti Betty isolation blog. Good one, Steph. We're on it. We've nailed it. Fantastic. Well said, and David Ike, Scotty. Not at all, Paul Mac. That's what I feel. And as I say, it was a lovely, lovely guest to have in the studio and fascinating, clever, clever man. So there we are. I wouldn't, we shouldn't be banning people just because they've got a different opinion. So there we are. I think it's the size of the following that may worry officialdom. You know, they don't like the following. Uh, Effing and Jeffing Vintage, says Tam. Absolutely. Scotty, do you like Audible or do you prefer a book? Uh, June Bowman, I um, love reading a book. I go to sleep every night with a book and I have a lot of wonderful old hardbacks. I pick them up secondhand, so maybe a book that would have cost eighteen ninety nine. You get it for two quid. You know, that sort of thing. And the problem is, they fall forward on my face. Wake me up again. So I sort of lie back reading, and then the book goes bang, right on the moosh, right on the pus, right on the coupon. And you go, whoa, whoa, what was that? Wonderful. Have you ever wakened yourself up with a snore? You're sort of dropping off to see. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Have you ever done that one? That's a cracker, I tell you. 
Scott McLean McNan had terminal cancer when I found out I went to Rothsey for the first time and recorded it because it was my gran and grandma honeymoon. Um, and both of them enjoyed watching uh, for memories. Uh, may both of them R.I.P. Requiescat in Pache, Karim. Rest in peace. Absolutely. We love Gran and Grandma. And Rothsey, 1969, there was a seaman's strike. And I was the crew of a little vessel. And we were sent down to pick up Johnny Beatty and the Alexander brothers from their summer show in Rothsey. Is that not amazing? 51 years ago. Uh, Scott FM, you made it, says John Cameron. No, everybody on Scott FM made it. It was the right radio station for the right country, for the right people, at the right time, with the right backers and the right owners. And that's why it was such a very, very successful radio station. And, of course, the only reason I had to leave was because it was damaging the other radio stations. So somebody else bought it. And part of the deal must have been get rid of McClure because he's got everybody in Scotland watching him. <laughs> McGinty McGuinness, you're bloody brilliant. We're loving your podcast. Thank you very much, McGinty McGuinness. We're loving having you with us. Uh, how can I get in touch with you, says Steve Mack. And he's mentioning a radio station, Fourth Valley Radio. What's that one, Steve? Michael Campbell's watching, Dinky Do. Andy McMillan, would you agree that Trump, with his injections, is full of wind? <laughs> and he mentioned, well, there we are, full of wind. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm going to get, listen, don't knock the Donald. I'm uh, saving up to get a comb over like that. I think that's a beauty, and I'll put some orange on. I've been tangled. Uh, Jason, there we go. We don't mention that, Stephen. So there we are. We can't have that, I'm afraid. So there we go. Um, briefly spoke about 5G being tested before rolling it out 24 hours later. <coughs> it was made to make a forced apology. So there we are. Um, yes, I'll have a read about that, Paul. Yes, I can't quite see what you're saying there. So there we go. Stephen Duncan, did he do? It's called All Saints now, says Rab Hill. Is it the big church at Coat Dyke? Great big old church. Um, so there we go. And uh, Finlay, we can't, uh, we can't even repeat that, actually, because we don't know. So there we are. We don't want to put out. Coat Dyke Parish Church, says Robert Rovers. Right. I shall look it up. Wonderful. Um, Paul Mack, 21 chilies, three garlic cloves, half an onion, white vinegar to make a chili sauce. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it'll give a whole new meaning to demon in the kitchen. It's like cooking with CS gas. <laughs> Stop, Paul Mack. Dan Leslie's watching Dinky Dude. Dan, Stephen and Val. That's right, mine is all on about the single mothers and the fattest of the bus. Different times. The 90s, absolutely, Stephanie. Different times. We can't do that one anymore. But I do think a big shout out. The live feed's bouncing about and out, Scotty. It's that busy in here you couldn't swing a cat. Not that we would ever do that. No cats have been harmed during the reading of that. Uh, McClue Takeover. Paul Mack, I'm going to try that. How long before it's ready? Chili, chili sauce. Dear. Have you ever had a wee bite of something and then you think, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Coat Dyke Congregational Scotty. Is that what it's called, June? The great big one. Uh, so sexy, Scotty. Can you give my Auntie Betty a date? Stephanie Lavelle. You wee matchmaker that you are. Uh, Scotty McClure, I'll say goodnight. I look forward to chatting tomorrow. If I get back in time from the vets, Kareem, do not go to the vets. Go to the doctors. The vets are for animals. Uh, so there you are. Thomas Peden. Thomas, you know we can't be having that. Tut, tut, man. Come on. Come on. Now, Tam, I don't want you getting a lifetime ban, so stop it. 
Uh, no, he only said it should be properly tested to rule out doubts, right, Paul? Thanks for no banning me, big man. Sorry if I mentioned a bad word. No, no, Paul. You're fine. It's all my chums get a warning. So there we go. Steve, man, I don't know what that is. You've got the wrong name there. There we are. Oh, Andrew Quigley. Right. Uh, block. Lifetime block for Andrew Quigley. So there we are. He has gone. We will never hear of him again. If anybody knows Andrew Quigley, tell him he was banned for going over boundary. Angela Riley, some of these poor souls don't know where the, the, the red lines are. Do you know what I mean? The jacket's dapper, Scotty. It gives you a very sophisticated look. I thank you. So there we are. And uh, Stephen is getting people going. You don't have to agree, but there's no need for that. Absolutely, Ian Johnson. There is never a need for that. These are the people with their tiny, tiny brain that don't realize that that's what causes trouble for the wrong reasons. So there we are. Have you had a baby tonight, Scotty? Finlay, I do not tack it on him here, but I did tack it at uh, one time. Scotty, remember a shop just outside Carluc on the way to Lanark? Used to sell cakes, sausage rolls, and they were huge. I miss the wee baker. I've, I've had, um, I think I've had bacon rolls from it. Would that be right? Uh, so there we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Hope you're keeping fit and well. Callum McSwan. I thank you. Yes, indeed. If anybody knows that dafty that we've just had to ban there. Scotty gives a shout out to Granny Aitchison from Largs. Says Stevie Vergemini. Vergemini. What a fabulous name. Charles Newton. Scotty, you had a spell about 20 years ago down there in Stoke. Century Radio. No, it was Manchester. Century Radio. How did you come to be there? I got offered a job. What happened when they, for no reason at all, nothing I had said or done, decided they didn't want my services on Scott FM after two and a half years? I um, went home and all the newspapers were ringing and going, Scott, what's the score? What's happened? Nobody should ever, ever, ever try and get rid of you, big man. So I said, we don't know. And one of the phone calls was the boss of a big radio station who said, what happened? I said, I don't know. He goes, right, so have you done your last show? I said, yes, today. He said, okay, well, I can't start you tomorrow. It would be Monday now. Do you want to come down and start with us on Monday? Is that not beautiful? So that shows you. So there you are. One person's loss, another one's gain. Fire up the organ, Scotty. Gives a bit of the wild mountain time. I'll give you I'll give you a big hymn. It's time I was away. We're over time here. We're over time. Oh Right. Now I'll bring it down a wee bit because somebody said they don't believe he's playing. They think that's just a wee button. So can you see the pipe organ just there? Can you see it? Just to get the edge of it. And we'll get this on and I'll give you um Right, it's time I wasn't here. We will have to dash off. But 
Okay, that's the bad news. The good news is that we are live tomorrow at 10 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square, I say. Do not miss a second of that. 10 o'clock here in the morning on this very Facebook page for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, for every nation in the world. Tell all your pals, tell all your Facebook friends, make sure everybody knows about it. Never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. Until then, take great care of your dear selves. Good night. God bless you all. And uh, stay in, stay safe, stay happy, stay fabulous, stay beautiful. To every single one of you, Scotty McClue says, dinky do. Scotty McClue has left the building. Well, he's not really because he's in lockdown. Ta-la-las!